Hello everyone and welcome to our Gainful series. Today we'll be covering the news from 8th of April to 14th of April. Let's get started. Which university ranked number one in National Institutional Ranking Framework, NIRF Ranking 2019? Mitra Shakti is the joint military exercise between India and which country? Dash became the first city in the world to implement a special ultra low emission zone that would charge an entry fee for older vehicles if they do not need emission standards. What will be India's GDP growth according to the World Bank in 2019-20? Recently, Pesalo Digital signed the first co-origination loan agreement with which bank? Let's look at the answers. Okay, as per the National Institutional Ranking Framework, rankings were released for a total of nine categories. The important one, IIT Madras topped the national ranking of Higher Institute, followed by IC Bangalore and IIT Delhi. Management, I am Bangalore topped it. Seven ITs among overall national ranking of Higher Institute. Nine ITs on top 10 list of best public institution in innovation. AIMS ranked number one among the Medical Science Institute. National Law School, Bangalore tops Law Colleges. Delhi University, Miranda House tops the national ranking of the colleges. Jamia Hamdard, Best Pharmacy Institute and top three universities were ISC Bangalore, JNU Delhi and finally third was BHU Varanasi. The sixth edition of the joint military training exercise between Indian Army and the Sri Lankan Army exercise Mitra Shakti concluded in Sri Lanka. London became the first city in the world to implement a special ultra low emission zone. India's GDP growth is expected to accelerate moderately to 7.5% in fiscal 1920, driven by continued investment strengthening, particularly private improved export performance and resilient consumption. Paisalo Digital has signed the first coordination loan agreement with State Bank of India. Let's move to the BSE has signed an MOU with which bank to further strengthen the BSE startup platform. A national seminar on greenery and landscaping organized by the Central Public Work Department was held where? Who has been appointed as the chief coach of India men's hockey team? A new study from Research Institute for Compassionate Economics, RISE, shows that how much percent of Ujjwala beneficiaries in rural Bihar, Madhya Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh and Rajasthan still use solid fuels for cooking. Anandavali CR, who died at the age of 64, was associated with the field of what? So, we are talking about BSC signing an MOU with HDFC Bank. Okay, this is to spread more awareness on the benefits of listing on BSC startups on this platform. The uh, greenery and landscaping organized by CPWD was in Delhi. Hockey India confirmed appointment of Graham Reed as the chief coach of the India men's hockey team. A new study from RISE has found that 85% of Ujjwala beneficiaries in rural Bihar, Madhya Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh and Rajasthan still use solid fuel for cooking. And dubbing artist Ananda Valisiar, who lent her voice to many actresses in the Malayalam film industry, passed away. She was 64. This year, the government of Nagaland observed dash anniversary of the Battle of Kohima. El Risa Thunison, who died at the age of 25, was former cricketer of which team? Eri Iravan, who died at the age of 28, was associated with the sports of which sports we are talking about? Israeli Isaac Hayek, who sent who set a new world record as the oldest person to play in the professional which sports we are talking about here. Recently, the scientists from which country have discovered death switch mechanism in plants immune system? Let's look at the answers. The 75th anniversary of the Battle of Kohima was observed by Nagaland government. Former South African Women Cricket World Cup cricketer El Risa Thunison Fori died in a car accident. She was just 25. Malaysian golfer Eri Irawan died in his hotel room at the age of 28 while competing at a tournament in China. Early indications suggesting his death was due to natural causes. 
73 year old israeli isaac haik he was the oldest person to play a professional soccer match chinese scientists have discovered a possible death switch mechanism in plants immune system that triggers infected cell to self destruct thus limiting the spread of disease and keeping other parts of the plant healthy this could be a good start in in even uh, for the treatment of cancer etc if it can be found in other organisms Aditya Birla Health Insurance has tied up with which foreign bank to sell its product to the bank's customer base the reserve bank of india has given life insurance corporation of india lic how many years to reduce its stake by 10% in idbi who will take over as md and ceo of indian overseas bank from july 1st The fifty-fourth valid day of Central Reserve Police Force was observed on which day of April? What is India's rank in Asia Pacific region on AI readiness according to a Salesforce study? Let's look at the answers. Aditya Birla Health Insurance has tied up with foreign bank, that Citibank, to sell its product to the bank's customer base. Reserve Bank of India has given Life Insurance Corporation of India 12 years to reduce its stake by 10% in IDBI. The government says Karnam Sekar, MD and uh, CEO of Erswell Dena Bank, will take over as MD and CEO of Indian Overseas Bank from July 1st. We are talking about the 54th Valid Day of Central Reserve Police Force that will happen that happen on April 9th. India ranks third after Singapore and Hong Kong in Asia Pacific region on AI readiness according to Salesforce study. However, the country ranks low on dynamism and innovation impacting its business readiness. What is India's GDP growth in 1920 according to the latest edition of World Economic Outlook published by IMF? Bold Kurukshetra 2019 is a joint military exercise between India and which country? Which PSU has been awarded IMA Managing India Award 2019 Outstanding PSU of the Year? The Rwanda Genocide Remembrance Day was observed on which day of April? Who was the first to cast their vote in 2019 Lok Sabha elections? Let's look at the answers here. According to the latest edition of WEO World Economic Outlook India is expected to grow at 7.3% in 1920 Armed Forces of India and Singapore kicked off a joint military exercise Bold Kurukshetra 2019 in Jhansi Bhavana cantonment okay so outstanding PSU of the year uh, was given to the chairman of IOCL right uh, there were other categories also i'm not sure you really need to remember them just just read it once the date 7th april marks the start of the 1994 genocide which lasted for 100 days period to mid july 1994 the national mourning begins with kuibuka remembrance the national commemoration on 7th april and concludes on the liberation day on 4th of july rwanda capital is kigali a horrific incident The soldiers of Indo-Tibetan Border Police Force were the first to cast their vote in uh, for the 2019 Lok Sabha election in Arunachal Pradesh as service voters. Also, if you want to know the first person, the first vote of the country was cast by G- DIG Sudhakar Natarajan, the head of ATS ITBP. Okay, let's move to the next. Which sports platform has become the first gaming company to join the Unicorn Club? who has been elected as the new president of International Chamber of Commerce India IIT Dash in collaboration with General Electric established India's first coal spray smart surface modification and additive research technology laboratory Najani Rajan who died at the age of 87 was a famous what the world economic forum on middle east and north africa remember this mena is always middle east and north africa you will see this in in various reports held in which place let's look at the answers mumbai based gaming startup dream 11 has joined india's mushrooming unicorn club following an investment from stead view capital through the second route in the range of 60 million sun group chairman 
Vikramjit Singh Sahani was elected as the new president of International Chamber of Commerce ICC India. IIT Madras in collaboration with General Electric established India's first cold spray smart surface modification and additive research technologies laboratory. Serbia born actor Nadza Rejin, best known for starring in Bond film from Russia with Love and Goldfinger, died at the age of 87. The World Economic Forum on the Middle East and North Africa, MENA, was held in Jordan with over 1000 participants from more than 50 countries. Jordan capital is Amman, currency is Jordanian dinar. World Homeopathy Day was observed on which day of April? Recently, which telescope has captured the first ever image of a black hole? Which UN agency recently has released the State of World Population 2019 report? DASH was felicitated with the coveted Public Water Agency of the Year Award at the Global Water Summit London. TCS said it has collaborated with tech giant DASH to build industry-specific cloud solutions. Let's look at the answers here. World Homeopathy Day was celebrated on April 10th. The Event Horizon Telescope, a planet-scale array of eight ground-based radio telescopes forged through international collaboration, was designed to capture images of black hole. So that's Event Horizon te Telescope. The world has a long way to go before reproductive and sexual rights are claimed by all, said United Nations Population Fund, UNFPA in state of world population 2019 report released unfp headquarters is in new york and head is natalia kahneman india's flagship program national mission for clean ganga or namami gange was felicitated with the coveted public water agency of the year india's largest software service firm tcs has said it has collaborated with tech giant google to build industry specific cloud solutions According to WHO, global cigarette sale in 2017 stood at how many billion dollars? Dash and Tata Trust have signed an agreement to jointly work for the development of handloom cluster in eastern and northeastern part of the country. Which company has launched its new open cloud platform called Anthos? India's education technology startup Dash has backed up 25,000 US dollar tech prize along with two other winners from Tanzania and Egypt. India is going to procure T90 tanks from which country? Global cigarette sale in 2019 stood at 700 billion dollars. WHO tweeted highlighting the fact that the amount was 250 times more than what the international organization needed to protect human health. Microsoft India and Tata Trust have signed an agreement to jointly work for the development of handloom clusters in eastern and northeastern part of the country. Google has launched Anthos, a new open platform from Google Cloud that lets users run application from anywhere. India's education technology startup Dost Education has backed US dollar 25,000 tech prize. Amid heightened tension with Pakistan, Narendra Modi government has cleared the procurement of 464 T90 tanks from Russia in a deal worth 13,500 crores. Name the first Islamic bank that has launched the chat banking services for customers via WhatsApp. Which AMC has claimed the top spot as India's asset management companies according to data released by Association of Mutual Fund in India? Which female cricketer was named leading cricketer in the world in this year's edition of Wisdom Cricketers Almanac? Which company became the first to start the goods delivery services using drone in Canberra? NGT has slapped, has slapped an interim penalty of 100 crores on which government for inaction to prevent illegal sand mining in the state? Let's look at the answers here. Emirates Islamic has announced the launch of chat banking services for customers via WhatsApp. Indian asset management company own assets under management AUM were 24.46 trillion according to data released by Amphi, a mutual fund industry lobby for Jan-March period. HDFC asset management company has claimed the top spot with an average sum of 3.42 trillion overtaking ICICI Prudential asset management company. 
Indian captain Virat Kohli was named leading cricketer in the world for the third time in a row in this year's edition of Wisdom Cricketer Almanac. Smriti Mandhana was the leading cricketer in women's game. Alphabet, that's Google, uh, parent company of Google, has made history again. Wing, one of the many companies belonging to the tech giant, has been given consent to officially launch its drone delivery system. The National Green Tribunal has slapped an interim penalty of 100 crore on Andhra Pradesh government for inaction to prevent illegal sand mining. Manpreet Kaur is associated with which sports? Name the app that has been launched by President Ramnath Kovin during the celebration of Rising Day of CRPF. Galzen Peak is located where the Banal Army Commanders Conference was held where Recently, a new online harms white paper has been published by the government of which country? Let's look at the answers. A national anti-doping agency disciplinary panel has handed four-year suspension to Asian champion woman shot putter Manpreet Kaur for testing positive on four occasions over 84 days in 2017. As a tribute to brave personal of CRPF, 9th April is celebrated as Valor Day in the in the force and President Ramnath Kovin has launched Veer Parivar app for assistance to the next of the kin of the CRPF martyrs. Achieving a momentous feat, a group of three climbers successfully became the first mountaineer to scale Nepal's untouched Galzen Peak, so that's in Nepal. The Binal Army Commanders Conference was held in New Delhi, a new online harm White paper was published jointly by UK Government Department for Digital Media, Culture and Sports and the Home Office. It calls for a new system of regulation for tech companies with goal of preventing online harm. Which bank has partnered with credit profiler Credit Vidya to improve the lender's customer experience? According to RBI data release, the bank credit rose how many percent in fiscal 2019? UAS announced that who will be the guest of honor country at the Abu Dhabi International Book Fair ADIBF 2019 to be held from 24th to 30th of April. Falcon Heavy rockets belong to which space agency? Recently, which country has decided to lift the ban on decades old abortion law? RBL Bank has said it has partnered with Credit Profiler, Credit Vidya to improve the lender's customer experience. According to Reserve Bank data released, bank credit rose 13.24% to 97.67 lakh crore for the fortnight to March 29th, while deposit grew 10.03% to 125.72 lakh crore during the same period. UAE has announced that India will be the guest of honor at the Abu Dhabi International Book Fair. SpaceX is uh, SpaceX uh, Falcon Heavy rocket was successfully launched carrying a satellite, the Arab Sat 6A of Saudi Arabia into the orbit. So just remember this Falcon Heavy rockets is from SpaceX. In a landmark ruling over a law that campaigners say put women at risk, South Korea's constitutional court ordered the country's decade-old abortion ban to be lifted. According to the United Nations Population Fund, India's population grew at an average annual rate of how much percent between 2010 and 2019. The equity market of Dash has overtaken Japan to be world's third largest in the value. Total rail wire Wi-Fi zone in India has crossed the mark of how much? Which element was used by the scientists from University of Edinburgh that revealed a new state of matter? According to a Lancet study on traffic-related pollution, which country recorded the highest cases of asthma in year 2015 due to traffic-related air pollution? India's population grew at an average annual rate of 1.2% between 2010 and 2019. 1.36 billion, more than double the annual rate of China. Hong Kong's equity market has overtaken Japan to be world's third largest in value behind only US and mainland China. Railwire Wi-Fi by Railtel is now live at 1600 railway stations across the country with Santa Cruz railway station in Mumbai becoming the 1600th station. 
A team led by scientists from University of Edinburgh used powerful computer simulation to study the existence of state known as chain melted state simulating how up to 20,000 potassium atoms behave under extreme condition reveal that the structure form represent the new stable state of matter that's potassium which was used. Traffic related pollution caused asthma among 350,000 children in India in 2015, second only to China. So, China topped that list also. The National Safe Motherhood Day was observed on which day of April? Any Nuraini of Dash was named the Asian Athlete Association as the best athlete coach in Asia for the short haul run category this year, Indonesian Athletic Sport Association announced. Indian Department of Science and Technology DST and which agency in Vinova launched a joint pro uh, program that will work towards addressing the range of challenges around smart cities, clean technologies among others. Which Indian Paralympian was named as the recipient of New Zealand Prime Minister Sir Edmund Hillary Fellowship for 2019 in recognition of her inspiring achievements. What is the interest rate for the General Provident Fund for April to June for year 2019-20? India observes National Safe Motherhood Day every day every year on uh, April 11th. Indonesian Eni Nuraini was named the Asian Athletic Association as the best athletic coach in Asia for the short haul run category this year. India and Sweden has launched a joint program that will work toward addressing a range of challenges around smart cities and smart technologies. The program was co-founded by Indian Department of Science and Technology and Swedish agency Vinova, uh, Sweden capital Stockholm and currency Swedish Krona. Rio Paralympic silver medalist Deepa Malik was named as the recipient of New Zealand Prime Minister Sir Edmund Hillary Fellowship for 2019 in recognition of her inspiring achievement. The 48-year-old Deepa who won the silver medal in short put F53 event in Rio in 2016. The government has retained the interest rate for General Provident Fund, Contributory Provident Fund and other related scheme at 8% for the first quarter of the current fiscal. The interest rate on these fund was at 8% in January-March quarter of 1819 also. Let's move to the next. Which body has constituted a central monitoring committee to ensure the implementation of the action plan meant for reducing pollution stretches across the country. The 140th assembly of IPU Inter-Parliamentary Union was held where? Who has inaugurated the first biannual Commanders Conference of IAF for the year 2019? Arapur app offers detail of all candidates contesting in the Lok Sabha election in Tamil Nadu and which other state. The All India Tennis Association has signed an MOU with Dash Tennis Federation to train Indian junior players. The National Green Tribunal has constituted a central monitoring committee to ensure implementation of action plan meant for reducing, reducing pollution stretches across the country. The 140th Assembly of IPU was held in Doha, Qatar. Defence Minister Nirmala Sitaraman inaugurated the first biannual Commanders Conference of IF for year 2019 at New Delhi. Arapur Iyakam released the Arapur app that's for sharing the candidate details uh, contesting for Lok Sabha elections in Tamil Nadu and Puducherry. AITF has signed an MOU with Serbian Tennis Federation to train Indian junior players under world-renowned Serbian coaches at RK Khanna Stadium. This is a good move, I will say. Who has inaugurated the maiden state-of-the-art virtual reality center at the Directorate of Naval Design, New Delhi? Who has released a booklet of selected speeches of Dr. Bhim Rambedkar in the Constant Assembly in New Delhi? Order of the Holy Apostle Andrew I is the highest civilian award of which country? CSO has revised the base year of CPI from 2010 to which year? The Punjab National Bank celebrated its which foundation day on April 12, 2019? Admiral Sunil Lamba, uh, he was the one who has inaugurated the maiden state of the art virtual reality center at Directorate of Naval Design. Prasar Bharti Chairman A. Suri Prakash released a booklet of the selected speeches of Dr. Bhim Ambedkar in the Constituent Assembly in New Delhi. Russia announced that 
President Vladimir Putin will confer its highest civilian award, the Order of the Holy Apostle Andrew I, on Prime Minister Narendra Modi for his work on bilateral ties. CSO has now shifted the base year from 2010 to 2012 for CPI calculations. Vice President M. Venkaiya Naidu addressed 125th Foundation Day celebration of Punjab National Bank in New Delhi on April 12, 2019. Which bank topped the Forbes Best Banks in India list? Dash has been awarded the Freedom of the City of London in recognition of her work to promote insurance ties between India and UK. Which project won the prestigious World Summit on Information Society? Digital Sukoon founder Dash was honored with the Dr. Baba Saheb Ambedkar Nobel Award by International Human Rights Council in Mumbai who has been selected for the prestigious Saraswati Samman 2018. Let's look at the answers now. Forbes has compiled the list of best banks in India by taking customer centric metric into consideration. HDFC Bank is one, followed by ICIC, I followed by DBS, followed by Kotak Mahindra, then IDFC Bank. So if you look at SBI is ranked 11th. The Chairman and Managing Director of General Insurance Corporation of India, the country's reinsurance major Alice Vaidyan, has been awarded the Freedom of the City of London in recognition of her work to promote insurance ties between India and UK. Utkash Bangla and Sabuj Sathi project have won the prestigious World Summit on the Information Society Award under the ages of UN. Digital Sukoon founder Sudhan Shukumar was honored with Baba Sahib Ambedkar Nobel Award by International Human Rights Council in Mumbai. Telugu poet K. Siva Reddy has been selected for the prestigious Saraswati Thamman 2018 for his collection of poetry titled Pakkaki Otigilit. I'm not sure how is that pronounced. Let's move to the next. Researchers in the Philippines have discovered a species of ancient human named what? World's Aviation and Cosmonautics Day and International Day of Human Space Flight celebrated on which day? Name the first woman to be appointed as the Vice Chancellor of Jamia Millia Islam University who has been appointed as the Chairman and Managing Director of National Building Construction Corporation which bank has started Just Hash Just 25 campaign. Researchers in Philippines announced they have discovered a species of ancient human previously unknown to science, the small-bodied homonin named Homo luzonensis lived on the island of Luzon at least 50,000 to 67,000 years ago. On April 12, we celebrate World's Aviation and Cosmonautics Day. 56 years ago on this day, on April 12th, 1961, Yuri Gagarin crewed the Vostok 1 space flight in 1961, making a one orbit around the Earth over 108 minutes in Vostok 3KA spacecraft launched by Vostok K launch vehicle. Professor Najma Akhtar of the National Institute of Educational Planning and Administration, New Delhi, was appointed Vice Chancellor of Jamia Millia Islam University. Shiv Das Meena, Additional Secretary of Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs, has been appointed the Chairman and Managing Director of National Building Construction Corporation. In the CIND Bank announced the launch of a multimedia campaign to commemorate the completion of bank's journey of 25 years. The Jallianwala Bagh massacre happened on April 13th, which year, which online payment service has acquired the Wimbo, a Silicon Valley startup. Recently, which company has partnered with MMT? See PAMP India to introduce buying and selling of coal through the app. The World Allergy Week 2019 addresses which topic? The Bongai Gaon District Administration has developed an exclusive mobile phone application named Sankal. This was there in our uh, previous gainful also to motivate voters, especially for the first time voter is located in which state? The nation paid homage to martyrs of Jallianwala Bagh massacre on the centenary of the incident on April 13, 2019. On this day in 1919, hundreds of people were killed by troops under British, uh, British Brigadier General Reginald Dyer during a peaceful meeting at the park. PayU, an online payment service provider and Naspers fintech arm, announced the acquisition of Wimbo, a Silicon Valley startup that works on digital payment security and payment enablement on smartphones. 
to make Google Pay more useful to Indian customer, Google has partnered with MMTC PMP India to introduce buying and selling of gold through the app. That's Google Pay user will be able to buy 99.99% 24 karat gold. The World Allergy, uh, Allergy Organization announced the World Allergy Week from 2019 in 2019 on 7 to 13th of April. The topic was Global Problem of Food Allergy. The Bon Gaigong is an Assam district administration has developed an exclusive mobile phone mobile app named Sankal to motivate voters, especially for the first time voters, to exercise their franchise in Lok Sabha polls. So Bon Gai is in Assam. The center has appointed Dash as Secretary Defense Finance. Jean Michael Lapin is the new Prime Minister of which country? who has been conferred the Lifetime Achievement Award during the 4th APJ Abdul Kalam Innovation Conclave at Chandigarh University, Mohali, who is the author of the book Diary of an Awesome Friendly Kid, Rowley Jefferson Journal. Asha Kiranam is an autobiography of who? The center has appointed Gargi Call as Secretary Defense Finance. Call was earlier Financial Advisor, Defense Services in the Defense Ministry. Haiti's president, Jovenel Moise, confirmed Jean Michael Lapin as the country's new prime minister. Dr. A.K. Singh was conferred with Lifetime Achievement Award during 4th APJ Abdul Kalam Innovation Conclave in Chandigarh University, Mohali. Renowned author Jeff Kine has come out with a new book, Diary of an Awesome Friendly Kid, a Rowley Jefferson Journal, published by Puffin. He is of the famous series, Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Asha Kiranam is an autobiography of noted, soci uh, noted social worker Sun Kurathri Chandra Shekhar was released at a function held in Kakinada. A two-day meeting of 21st Asian India senior official was held where the Center Marine Fisheries Research Institute and Dash and ISRO has signed an MOU to develop a mobile app and a centralized web portal that will have comprehensive database of wetlands that are smaller than 2.25 hectares in the country. Pradeep Chaube, who died at the age of 70, was a famous what? D. Babu Paul, who died at the age of 77, was a what? The haunting images of a little girl crying helplessly in which country has won the prestigious World Press Photo Award 2019? Let's look at the answers here. The two-day meeting of 21st Asian, Asian India senior official concluded in New Delhi. MOU signed between the CMFRI, the Central Marine Fisheries Research, Kerala and Space Application Center of ISRO to develop mobile app and a centralized web portal that will have comprehensive database of wetland that are smaller than 2.25 hectares in the country. Hindi poet Pradeep Chaube, famous for his humorous poetry, died due to the cardiac arrest in Gwalior. Former additional chief secretary D. Babu Paul, who was known as a bureaucrat with the cultural face, has died. The haunting image of a little girl crying helplessly as she and her mother are taken into the custody by the U.S. border official has won the prestigious World Photo Award 2019. Birth anniversary of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar was celebrated on which day? Named the world's largest airplane that made its first test flight in California. The 100th birth centenary of the legendary Marshal of the Indian Air Force, Arjun Singh, was celebrated on which day of April? Who is the winner of 83rd Master Tournament, Golf Tournament we are talking about? India clinched a total of how many medals in the Boxing World Cup and Cologne, Germany? President Ramnath Kovin led the nation in paying homage to the architect of the Indian constitution B.R. Ambedkar on his 128th birth anniversary, April 14th. The world's largest aeroplane, uh, aeroplane a Stratolaunch, a Stratolaunch behemoth with two fuselage and six Boeing 747 engine made its first test flight in California. A half marathon was conducted in Delhi on 14th April to mark 100th birth anniversary of legendary Marshal of the Indian Air Force, Arjun Singh. Tiger Woods completed an epic comeback from his career-threatening injury and scandal by winning 83rd Master, capturing the 5th Master and 15th Major title to end a 11-year Major drought. 
India finished with five medals in the Boxing World Cup, which concluded Cologne, Germany. Who is the winner of Formula 100 World Championship race recently? Which state police stock squad has induced Belgian Malinois stock, which guard the White House and were part of the team that eliminated Osama bin Laden? Who became the highest scoring Indian batsman in T20 cricket? Which state is harvesting a unique variety of rice called bamboo rice? Rajori Day was celebrated on what day of April? Lewis Hamilton won the Chinese Grand Prix for his record six time. He says the overall lead from Mercedes teammate Valtteri Bottas in Formula 1. Thousands World Championship race. So this was the thousandth race. Comfortable win was his 75th. Belgian Malinois dog, which guard the White House and were part of the team that eliminated Osama bin Laden, have been introduced or inducted by MP Police Dog Squad. Royal challenger Bangalore skipper Virat Kohli has surpassed Chennai Super King batsman Suresh Raina to become the highest scoring Indian batsman in T20 format. The bamboo rice, which grows only twice or thrice in a century, can be called unique even by Odisha's standards. So it, it is in Odisha. It is har it's being harvested now. The gate of Chandaka Dampara Wildlife. This also you should remember where is the sanctuary and why is this famous? That because of this bamboo rice. In the Katak district has been opened for forest dweller to come and collect the rice, otherwise it will be attacked by the rats. Rajori Day was celebrated on April 13th every year to commemorate the bravery and valor of the soldiers who laid down their lives for the liberation of Rajori district from the rebel and Pakistan army personnel who infiltrated from across the border. Who is the brand ambassador of Fantasy 11 Games platform? Which telecom operator along with FICCI FICI, ladies organization FLO has launched a safety app My Circle. Tina Thakur, who has been selected by Columbia University Graduate School of Journalism as the winner of 2019 City Journalistic Excellence Award in the Journalist and who became the first Indian to be appointed Chair of International Hockey Federation Health and Safety Committee by the World Governing Body. The Central Drug Standard Control Organization has now asked manufacturer to ensure the display information of total how many antibiotic drugs and their possible side effect to the general public. Let's look at the answers here. Formal, former Indian cricketer Murali Karthik was made the brand ambassador of Fantasy 11 Fantasy Games platform. Telecom operator Bharti Airtel and Fiki Ladies Organization launched a safety app My Circle aimed at aiding women in event of distress or an emergency situation by sending an SOS alert. Mintz Tina Thakur has been selected by Columbia's University Graduate School of Journalism as the winner of 2019 City Journalist Excellence Award. Bibhu Kalyan Nayak became the first Indian to be appointed Chair of International Hockey Federation Health and Safety Committee by World Governing Body. Here, alerted by Union Health Minister's Pharmaceutical Watchdog, National Coordination Center for Pharmacovigilance Program of India on adverse reactions that were being reported from some commonly used antibiotics. The Central Drug Standard Control Organization has now asked manufacturer to ensure that this information be made available to general public for antibiotics. That's total almost seven antibiotics and their possible side effects. Okay, so with that, we come to an end of this week's Gainful. I'll again see you very soon with the next one. Thank you.